Could it finally be proof that life out there does in fact exist? Researchers say they have a way to search for extra extraterrestrial life That's and they right eat i'm just going to call it et uh they are looking right in the middle of our own galaxy uh we got joseph dames with us here this morning and joseph i think you should know about me that i believe in ghosts ufos and aliens okay, so you're i i'm a believer and which is very funny <laughs> right? because i'm like a very like rational science-based right. person but yeah. i believe in all those so this is very very exciting for me it is yeah right? this whole thing i mean <laughs> The whole process, it's pretty great technology. It sounds like they use radar. I mean, we, I use radar yeah. to, you know, detect water droplets. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. To detect. <laughs> there's a difference. Yeah. So wait, are you tell me there's a difference between detecting water droplets and space life out there? Are you saying there's a. I mean, there's a connection. <laughs> but, there's a connection. You know. I just want to say this, just for the record. So when we first found out that this was going to be our topic today, the first thing, what did I say to you? I said, this is straight out of the movie Contact yes, yes, with Jodie did. Foster mm -hmm. and Matthew McConaughey. They're, they, so what are they using? They're using radio pulses. They're trying to track radio pulses, right? And that's exactly what they do in the movie Contact. They got the idea from that. Yeah, oh, do, you, do you think the researchers at Cornell were just sitting around like Ithaca, New York, watching Jodie Foster? Huh, and like, I wonder if Can I actually do this? And they did. But you think about it, too. Like, you think about everything that's come out, especially, like, in the last year. You both saw that 60 Minutes story, the mm -hmm. alien life, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden it's all coming to fruition. It's all coming to light. Some of these classified documents that have been unsealed. All the videos. All the videos. Yeah. And, yeah. and identified objects. All of a sudden, Uncle, you know, Uncle Pfeiffer, he wasn't that crazy. Crazy, was he? You're talking about seeing that, that object up in the sky. It wasn't crazy, was he? Uh, okay, so here is the uh, technology that Joseph was talking about. You know, as he uses to find his droplets sure. here in Minnesota, this one is looking for radio pulses in the middle of the galaxy. Mm -hmm. So radio pulses, they're naturally admitted, emitted, but what these researchers are looking for or is kind of these like ones that are really narrow, that are, re that are repeated. They're very specific. That could come from human-like creatures. Okay. Specific patterns. Yeah, specific patterns. Things like that. They put out a search. They right. did their initial search. Uh -huh. Didn't find. No, they didn't. Didn't find a thing. Yeah. But space is big, right? <laughs> space is big. They have a lot more to search. They, they sure are did. working on their algorithms. Yeah. Yeah. So there's a lot more to go because they got to find it. I mean, how could. Space is big. How, space is big. How could. This, how could we not have other forms of life in we, this big giant space galaxy? Do you want to know? Are you the, Oh, yeah. You want that information? I want to know my doppelganger. Like, oh, my gosh. Light years away. Seriously, like, like so we'd be selfish, right, to think that it's just us. Yes. We'd be yes. very selfish. Yeah. I mean, come mm -hmm. on. It, it, come but on. What, I mean, I'm pretty what, selfish, though. Wait, in the movie Contact, <laughs> do they find. So she I didn't does. See okay, it. so. Spoiler, spoiler, spoiler. Alert, spoiler alert. She does. <gasps> so she launches, they launch her up in this like capsule, right? Yeah. And she finds like an alien. But the thing is, they mimic us. And so she sees what she thinks is her dad, who is really an alien okay. who talks to her. <laughs> That's a big story. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just geeked yeah, out for a second. Yeah, and I went really there. Good. That was really and good. like, yeah. <laughs> and so the thing is, so she comes back, but no one believes her. Yeah. Because the contact, like, uh, they had like a beacon with her, yeah. but the beacon is silent. So no one actually, like, she made this up. Like, yeah. she's delusional. But mm. no, she she saw her, she saw an alien. The doppelganger was her dad, who died when she was a young child. This is a weekend watch. Yeah, I guess so. And <laughs> this like, is a the, weekend watch. The, the detail that you remember Let me tell you something. Movie. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Jodie Foster, yeah. Matthew McConaughey, <laughs> Rob Lowe's in there, Angela Bassett's in there, uh -huh. James Woods is in there. Okay. Good 90s flick. <laughs> If you ever need a movie review, we know who to go, go to. Go to AJ. Yeah. Mockbuster was my friend as a youth. <laughs> as a youth. <laughs>